Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any of your requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and you already know. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. I will be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos I made now on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests and I think mostly not subscribers. <laughs> some people are subscribers, some of them are not, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button will help me out. And even if you have a request and you're not subscriber, don't hesitate. Just drop me a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And in this video, this is actually one of the most requested ones lately after I come back from my break from YouTube. This is the most requested one, which is how to have a search bar instead of search icon on your Shopify store and I mean without having to click on it it does show a search bar instead of search icon on your Shopify header and I will show you how to do this without using any apps or anything like that by using our own code that will do the trick and this is not a search bar from those 90s static HTML website search bar no 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 <laughs> this is a functional and really good looking uh, search bar that will actually fit your Shopify store not something like you just gonna get it done by anything no no it's actually well designed uh, search bar and you will see that for yourself so without any more talking let's just get to it and show you how to have a search bar instead of search icon on your Shopify header as you can see this is the dashboard and I have down team 15 version which is the last one as if now and this is what I do all the demonstrations in my videos but if you notice, I have other teams as well, which is taste, sense, refresh, spotlight, and trade. And I do try each one of the, my trick in my videos. I do try in each one of these teams. So if you're not using down, if you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine because I do test it on them behind the scenes as well in the video. So I don't bore people out. I do actually uh, try it on down team only and you will see that in this video so let me show you the Shopify store so you can see this is the search icon as you can see so if if I click on it it does show this really bad search <laughs> bar that looks very old as you can see it's it's I don't know why they put the search bar like this it's squared from the corners and it's huge why do you need the search bar like this you're gonna write like a letter <laughs> I'm not sure what they're trying to do anyway so in this video, as I said, I will show you how to add really unique and good looking uh, search bar instead of the search icon. You don't have to click on it. It will show up right here. So let's just keep this page open and uh, do the trick. Come back and see it. By the way, if you are interested in how to change the color for the count bubble on the card, make sure to check out my channel. I already made that video. So let's just get back to Shopify dashboard. And the first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then we need to find a specific file in here. In order to find it, just use the search bar at the top left corner. You don't have to keep looking in the folders and type in header.liquid. And you will see a file called header.liquid as you can see. Simply click on it. But before we do the trick, I, because I know the videos on YouTube live forever maybe 2028 this video was still up on YouTube some people would watch it and there is more updates happening from Shopify so it can change things just to be safe click on the page like this if you are Windows click on Control A if you are Mac like me click on Command A and it will select the whole code right click and copy why is that because we're gonna save this you might say oh you can just use this thing and you can get back to previous versions yes but sometimes this thing break and from my experience it does <laughs> it does break a lot and it can be really difficult to get your code back so we will use for me i will use the website i do always use which is this one where i best i'm gonna save it just here just in case and also i need this code to get back to previous version because i don't need to search bar or my mama keep it i don't know so uh save this in your note or something like that just save the code first then get back in here then we need to find a specific section in here in order to find it simply click on the code just like you want to write something again on the keyboard click on uh, Control F if you are on Windows, I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt at the bottom of the page. Then simply type in render just like this. Then the quotes for the, here is it showing up here, but I will write it in this single quote, single quote thing. I don't know what it's called. I will put it in the screen. I apologize. Then type in header 
like this then hit enter and it will show you this you don't need it not this one again not this one again not this one again not this one and this one this one that says render search input id search and model and you may say well you can you just tell us the number of the line no i will not do that because i did that mistake earlier in my videos because the line or the place where the code or the section exists it changes with updates it does change so make sure to find this right here no worries i will put this in description sometimes youtube does not let me put some special characters in description but i will try to put this in description so you can find the exact thing we need which is this one and after you find it again same place description scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as cold and simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here what are you gonna see what did they happen okay maybe too fast oh i did copy the code i did search for the code <laughs> okay here <laughs> here it is so it will take you to this page and this code again is completely free no pay please no share please nothing like that just a like button will help me out and i would really appreciate that so in order to select this just click on the raw option right here so it make it easier then click again same trick again control a or control uh, command if you are in mac right click and copy after you did copy it we need to actually remove this part that we did find this part we need to remove it simply remove it then paste in the code that we did copy right simple then click on save button wait for a couple of seconds get back to shopify store reload the page and ta -da! you can see this is the search bar i'm talking about and it looks better than the previous one right it looks way better as you can see and if you know a little bit of css you can customize it however you want but i think now it looks better than the previous one and that's how you have a search bar instead of search icon on your shopify store and if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one